Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to Fog's World. Today we'll be gardening. No, no, we're not going to do any gardening. No. But uh, the Blaze Farm is working like a top. And look at what I got. Look at this. See that pick? See that? Guess what? Silk Touch. And now look at this. Pack Dice. That's right. We got Silk Touch. We got a chest full of pack dice and ice, and oh, the possibilities that opens up. About the only thing wrong with the Blaze Farm at the moment is that I don't have any harm potions, so I still have to punch everything by hand. But we're about to change all that, because look at what I've got over here. <laughs> it's a little traveling music there. Here. Come through here. We have to build a path over to here so that it doesn't look quite so, uh, what's the word? Pristine? I don't know. Untouched? Wild? Look at what I got going down here. That is a spider spawner. And we're in the process of building a spider trap. Now, this is very similar to the trap that uh, I built in last season, but I'm making a couple of changes. I figured rather than let you watch me build the whole thing, because that's going to be a little boring, uh, I, think, I figured instead I'd point out some of the little changes that I'm making. First of all, instead of an 8x8 eight eight room that I've opened up here, I've opened up a 10x10 ten ten room. And the reason I've done that is because spiders are two by two and not uh, one block wide. They're two blocks wide. And by allowing that extra block of space, we should be able to get slightly increased spawn rates. Um, I've also put packed ice on the ground. Uh, packed ice is really nice in that it's just as slippery as regular ice, but it doesn't melt. So here's how we're building this thing. Uh, this little raised area here is enough that when I put water down here, it will go all the way to the end, which is what we want, of course. And then get my torches back. Not quite ready for those torches to go away yet. Um, the other nice thing about packed ice is that mobs will spawn on packed ice as opposed to regular ice. Uh, this room is actually not quite bright enough by those lamps it can occasionally very rarely spawn a spider so I do kind of want to watch for that um, I just wanted the lights to slow the spawn rates enough that I could work which which it's done it's it's really rare that it'll spawn but it will still occasionally spawn so the way this works in case you missed it last season we're gonna put water in the back there it'll push all the spiders towards the front Having these steps here enables us to put, uh, and signs, steps and signs means I can put water right here in this corner, like this, and it will go in and turn this corner and come down into here. Um, so I'll put water at both corners, it'll push it all back into here. I'll put more water in there, that will push it back to here. Now, there's going to be a little bit of a difference here. Oh, actually, let's go up here. I'm going to move all this stuff eventually. But for now, I'm also going to pretty things up a bit eventually. But for now, it's good enough. Um, you know, I think I want to use the more attractive stone brick stairs here. So we'll go ahead and pull those out and put in the stone brick stairs like that. Yeah, uh huh. And we'll do the same here. And actually, having those uh, little stairs left there lets, gives me an opportunity to demonstrate this. Um, when the water is flowing in here, well, let's go ahead and put it in. I don't need it out any longer. Boop. When the water's flowing in here, it'll come down there and flow down into there and flow back the other way. And it'll push all the items back into that stream there. And that stream goes down into an item elevator, which comes out right here. So that's how I'm going to collect all the drops. I'm going to build uh, a 
an item sorter right here to separate the uh, spider eyes from the uh, from the string. I actually don't need a whole lot of string. I need spider eyes way more than I need string. So instead, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just build a little chest to hold the string, and then I'm going to allow the rest of it to just eventually despawn because, well, you know, you only need a chest full of string. Why would I need more than one chest full? So that's what we're going to do there. Um, let's go ahead and cover this up. So that I can't accidentally fall in. Come on. Now I can't fall in. And that's where the spiders are going to eventually end up. So let's talk about the uh, mechanics here. Let me get some... Get this back. Put some stuff in here. Yeah, that's enough for now. Well... <sighs> okay, so let's show you how this works. So this switch here, um, this is going to be the floor level, by the way. This switch turns on that redstone, turns off that torch, turns off that redstone, which is what's going to push the stairs in, like this. And that's going to push our spiders right up here into our killing chamber. Uh, this guy right here... is the, that's the suffocation block. So we'll talk about how that works later. But uh, for now, let's come down here. I could show you. This is uh, a standard no moving parts item elevator. I built one of these in last season. Um, I'll put a link to the original video where I first saw this uh, item uh, elevator. Uh, I'll put a link to, to the source for that down in the description for you. Uh, I can't remember exactly whose this was. Sorry. Uh, check the description below. Because <laughs> I can't remember. But whoever it was, he was a genius. And I love his design. And I use it all the time. So there you go. So now the next thing that I need to do, now that I've got all this in place, the next thing I need to do is I'm going to wall this off. I'm going to put down the floor, and we're going to get things ready so that we can start using, start using the spider spawner. So uh, I will get started on that and maybe pretty this area up a bit because, quite frankly, it's a bit of a mess. And once I've done that, we'll talk again. Well, as you can see, I've been busy. I've been doing a lot of work. I got this all lined with light blue clay, prettied up the top a lot. Uh, I got some work to do over here, but I've opened this area up and I've got it mostly functional now. I've, well, I've got it fully functional, really. Um, let me uh, give you a quick tour. Um, but the first thing, before I do, I want to show you what all this mess back here is. This is... <laughs> Stupid chickens are everywhere. Oh my gosh. Um, that is the crusher mechanism right there. Now I've I've made it a little more complicated than it needed to be, but it's a pretty simple mechanism and I wanted to show you how it works. So let's uh, imagine you have uh, a block. Let's see, I need a place where I got room. Mm, yeah, this should do. This should do. Um, so you got a block and you got a button on the block and you're going to put a crusher over here. So all you have to do to make a very simple crusher, um, this should look, oh, I can't build it there. We're going to try this again. Oh, yes, we will. Put the block there. I can build that. Oh, yeah. Put a couple of uh, comparators there. Now, you remember our uh, our crusher that we did in the in the blaze farm looked like this, right? Let's uh, go ahead and set that down. This needs to be a sticky piston pushing a block, but you get the idea, right? And let's do this, and this, and this. So this was our blaze farm crusher. Now the problem with using the blaze farm crusher is that spiders have significantly reduced hit points. So this guy, he doesn't work for spiders. But 
guess what does? If we shorten it to four... Now we're pretty close. It's still not perfect, but it's a little short. All we have to do to make this perfect is extend it by just a bit. And the easiest way to do that is do this. This creates just a little bit extra delay. Adds, I make about eight ticks to it. And that turns out to be the perfect delay. So I could have built exactly this right here. But instead, I wanted to put the button in the wall, so I made a couple of minor changes. But get a good look at this. I'll get up where you can get a good look at it here. Got a button there, a block, a block, a piston, a couple of, uh, ooh, there's a spider somewhere. Uh, <laughs> got a couple of repeaters set to four ticks, and got this little deal. Oh, yeah, see, I told you occasionally that guy spawns, even when the lights are on. So, what we have back here is basically the same thing. Block, comparator loop. Here's our delay. But in order to make it work off this block, I've added a couple of repeaters, and then we bring these down over to the piston, which is right under it there. Okay? So that is... Uh, that's the same thing right there. This and that are the same. So let's throw the switch. Whoops. Wrong switch. I want this switch. Uh, I get underneath the guy. Sometimes they don't want to jump. Oh, there he goes. Okay, and now if we hit this, you'll see that he gets just the perfect amount of crush. One punch kills him. Open that up, and that spider eye will drop down below. And the spider eye goes round and round, and it comes out there. All right, so there you go. That is how all this works. So I'm going to continue prettying this up. As you can see, I've kind of been playing around with a color scheme there. I think I kind of like that, too. I think I'll probably go with that all around because it brightens it up and makes it look nice. Um, not entirely sure whether I want that half slab there or not. I'm probably not going to put it there. In fact, I could even get rid of this altogether, but... I don't like seeing the piston there very much. I'm going to have to think about it. Of course, all this stuff up here is going to get moved. It's That's temporary. And I will... Uh, ooh, he's invisible. Look at him. <laughs> We've got an enchanted invisible spider. I love it. Um, <laughs> that's awesome. That's really cool. Okay. Um... The, the invisible spider made me lose my train of thought. Okay, I'm going to do some cleaning up here, but more importantly, over here, I'm going to build... I'm going to build a sorting system. And that will be the next thing that I'm going to build. And I'm going to do that uh, in just a minute. But let me get my materials together, make sure I have everything ready, and then I'll come back and we'll build the sorting system. All right, I'm back, and I'm ready to uh, put this guy together. We're going to have one chest here for spider eyes, one chest here for string, and we're going to just allow excess to just be brought, just, just thrown away eventually. So we need a couple of hoppers behind it, and we're going to build a couple of hopper sorters back here. And the way we're going to do that, I'm going to put a block there, put a repeater into this one. We need a block behind it, like that. Put a repeater into this one. A couple of blocks behind here. Repeater into that. And a block there. And a couple of things of redstone. Just like that. So that's good. Now we need to put a comparator there and there. Put them both at subtract mode. And we're going to put a block there couple of hoppers. 
Now these hoppers you want pointing off back, not straight down, otherwise they won't work properly. If you want the hopper sorter to work, you got to build it correctly. And then we need to build the top here, and the way we do that, put these here, put a couple of redstone torches on there, and that locks the hoppers. Now, we need to guard it against overflow, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to do this. One, two, three, and I'm out of blocks. No, I'm not. Three, and one, two, three. So that sets this on the correct mode. And we'll go to the other side and do the same thing. Hopefully, uh, here, one, two, three, actually, no, I am going to do that. One, two, three, just like this. One, two, three, and I forgot to go one farther. Like this. Obviously, you can go up or down. There are there are actually ways to perhaps get by with using a little bit fewer materials than that, but I don't care. That's enough for now. Um, although, to be honest... <laughs> now my question is, do I want to open it up all the way back into there or not? That's good. Let's just get it working, and then we'll worry about that. So the next thing we need to do is we need to get a water channel up over here. Good thing I have silver touch. Thank you. Collect you. Boop. And a boop. And we go around the corner like this. Boop, boop, boop. And a boop. And a boop. And then we're going to just build a little place here to catch the runoff. Whoop. <laughs> Through the floor. That's just great. <laughs> running out of space. Do I want to... Hmm. You know, I think I'm going to do it this way instead. Yeah, I think we will. I think we'll do it this way instead. You know, there's not even a reason for us to build a thing to catch it. We can just leave it up there and that'll be fine. Yeah, that'll be great. Now we just need to put the water in. Right there. And build the sorter. Now, in order to get the sorter, we need, right up here, we need four items that can't stack, and the perfect thing for that is wooden swords. So I'm going to make... A pile of wooden swords. And eight is the perfect number. Four wooden swords there. Four wooden swords there. And then... and string, please. Spider eyes and string. Spider eyes go there, and that's not enough for it to drain yet. We'll need more spider eyes before the sorter works properly. But this one does have enough to drain, and you'll see it'll drain down to about 40-something. I think it's 41. Yep. And all the rest end up down in the trap chest down here. I chose to put the trap chest here because, honestly, I don't really ever hardly ever expect to open this for string. And so the fact that the trap chest will stop that hopper from working when I open it isn't really a problem because I'm almost never going to open it. And this is where the eyes are going to go. And we'll just let that fill up. In fact, I may even eventually make it a double chest, but for now that'll do. Now anything that isn't spider eyes or string, for instance, 
going to toss our bucket in there. That'll make its way up here. Eventually. Go around the corner. And end up here at the end. Where if I really want it, I can go walk over to it and grab it. But if I don't, it doesn't matter. It'll, I can just leave it there and let it eventually disappear on its own. Okay, so the next thing to do is to pretty up that area a little bit. Close this off. Clean it up. Get rid of the excess materials. And, uh, and then Bob's your uncle will be done and ready to give it its final test. Talk to you in a minute. All right, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for the big reveal? Oh, here we go. There's the entrance. Surrounded by a fence and gate so that I don't have to worry about mobs getting in there. Although I think I might need a few more lights back there, but that's a problem we can solve pretty easily. Problem solved. Okay, and now this opening is as big as it is because I want to be able to ride the horse down here. There's the spider spawner back there. And this over here is the sorter. And I added an extra chest just to store things such as these instant damage motions. Or anything else I should feel like storing. So let's go ahead and turn off the lights. And pretty soon we should get some spiders. Shouldn't take too long. And we're going to just hang here for a while. And let this fill up with spiders. And once it's full, we'll give her a big test. All right, we got a couple of dozen of those guys down there. I think this is good enough for a test. Throw the switch, lock them into place. Got a couple in there with some. Uh, got a couple in there with some uh, potion effects. And. Fire away! Boom! They're all dead. Collect all the XP. Open the gate. Hi, guy. Get him, too. And there go the goodies. like a treat and here come more to join the party well guys that's all we have time for today i hope you enjoyed today's episode i know i sure had a heck of a lot of fun making it i don't know i just love a good mob grinder what can i say all right guys well if you enjoyed what you saw here please hit the like button and if you want to see more you know what to do subscribe we do it every week and i will talk to you all again next time bye bye everybody